So I'm here today, and it's just 10 minutes, which is not nearly enough for what I want to say. And of course, you expect me to explain you in a nutshell what blockchain is. I'm not going to be able to do that. So my goal today would be to maybe excite you, to electrify you a little bit. Because um, I completely agree with the, with the previous speaker. We have that expectation. We had that expectation yesterday about, about personalization, about AI, about chatbots. That's all yesterday. And I have this interesting feeling from conferences, from travel conferences that I go to that we're all here in a giant glass bubble and we're afraid to look out, to look outside to see what's going on. We had several tidal waves of innovation in the computer industry, in, in computer science, that's the invention of the computer, invention of the internet, and what I want to talk about today is the next wave that I think is going to change a lot for everyone here. And if you're not paying attention, if you're not excited about this new thing, blockchain of course, then companies that are excited about it, companies that are researching it, playing with it, will be the winners in the future. But we're here to save the day. I don't know if you know uh, what Winding Tree does. What we're working on is we're creating um, a travel distribution platform. How's it different from GDSs today or OTAs? It's a piece of public infrastructure. No one owns it. I don't own it. Our company doesn't own it. We're a nonprofit. And in a nutshell, that's exactly what blockchain is. Explaining what blockchain is, how it works, takes a lot of time, of course. Uh, and that's something that we do at Winding Tree as well. And uh, of course, you're welcome to, to talk to me afterwards, after this talk, or reach out, uh, read our blogs, and look at our videos. But one thought that I want you to take out from my talk today is what we need to do is not, is not being excited about one particular technology, be that AI, be that blockchain or chatbots or big data. It's easy to get excited about those things and lose, lose track of what you really have to do. And what you have to do is you have to set up your companies in such a way that you're doing, that you're innovating constantly, that you're excited about these new things constantly. Because without that, we cannot move. And that's something that's missing in the travel industry. The space of innovation, and uh, I really admire uh, what, um, in the previous panel, what, what um, uh, Lufthansa uh, executive was saying, that they're looking for companies and ways to innovate faster. And that's precisely what we want to do at Winding Tree. And that's precisely what blockchain is about. Again, this is a very complicated topic. And, and I could mention a bunch of articles and books for you uh, to read. Please do your own research. Don't trust me blindly, right? But blockchain, on one hand, is, can enable currencies, can uh, enable uh, really public projects, not owned by, by one corporation that could steal and abuse your data, sell it to someone else, and, or leak them. Um, and on the other hand, that type of technology enables us to collaborate on a very large scale, to borrow the words uh, of Yuval Harari from his book, Sapiens, which is a great book. Um, blockchain enables us to collaborate on a very large scale, effectively. No other technology before allowed us to do that. This is the next step beyond just computers, beyond our, our first networks, beyond the internet. That's, what, that's the power that the blockchain technology has. And at Winding Tree, at first, we're trying to create a distribution platform that 
And that's what's different from, from all the conversations that I've heard here today and, and for several years we've heard. Uh, it's different from just a new OTA or GDS. And I keep hearing it, you know, we're working with this new GDS, we're working with this new OTA, this new OTA has AI capability. But just like we have those problems with Facebook today and Google, and uh, my, my colleague and my co-founder, he was just texting me, he, he's at another conference, and uh, Amazon is, was challenged um, at that conference, and they were asked a question about, guys, you're monopolizing the, the hosting industry, like everyone, probably all of your companies host at least partially your applications uh, with Amazon. And the answer from Amazon, well, just trust us, guys. We're good. It's not a good answer. Because centralization of data, you know what it leads to. You know about Equifax, you know about Facebook, you know about Google that owns all of your data right now. They know exactly where you are, what you're doing. And uh, I don't think that's the version of the future I want to live in, where one big company owns everything and knows everything about me. And um, just recently I read an article about AI. Think about it. If one company that would have this breakthrough in terms of artificial intelligence and they will have, they will create, probably would be Google or, or one of those companies, they would have this breakthrough and they would create the strong AI and we'll live in a world that will be controlled by that one company. What should we do about it? This is a very interesting topic. Uh, blockchain has the power to prevent that. I don't know if it's a valid solution. No one knows it. Uh, we can only determine that in the hindsight. But we should do something about it. And once again, that's something that we are trying to do in the travel industry. Why? To enable innovation, to prevent all sorts of problems such as data centralization, um, but more importantly, the frustration that led to the creation of this project uh, to, to apply blockchain in the travel industry to the distribution problem in the travel industry was that if one company or a few companies, as it is today in the travel industry, determine what we can and cannot do that's a problem. And that's exactly why we're behind. I encourage you to go to a technical conference, anything, Python, JavaScript, any technology. Get outside of this glass bubble, see what's going on out there, what kind of technologies and projects people are building. And you will see that we are 10 years behind, unfortunately. Why? Because we cannot innovate fast enough in an environment that is controlled by only a few players. So one thing, one thought that I would like you to take out from this talk, get outside of the glass bubble. Be excited again about technology. Blockchain is definitely one of those things that you can be excited about if you read about it if you learn about it. It's not about speculation. It's not about trading tokens and making money. Absolutely not. So much more exciting than that. Blockchain allows for incredible ideas. Just a few that I can mention. Democracy.Earth, there is a project that is fixing democracy using blockchain. There is another project that's fixing justice using this technology by providing a piece of public infrastructure that no one controls. No one government, no one company, no one. Be excited about technology. Get out of the glass bubble that we're here inside right now and uh, redesign your companies in such a way that you innovate very, very fast and you adapt very fast to the ever-changing technological landscape of today's world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Max.